Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Hey, I'm out cruising around today, running a couple errands, and uh, recently did the driver's side grab handle in the Toyota Tacoma here. So I thought I'd get in. Some people have stated that they don't like it because it blocks their field of vision. I touched on that a little bit during the install video. And by the way, I'll give you an update. I did contact KTJO 4x4 and uh, did go ahead and pay them for this one, which by the way, I just want to state, um, I had mentioned before that I couldn't recommend it. I've kind of changed my mind a little bit on that. You know, they did take care of my problem and uh, I think it's a, a good install. Um, it's difficult only because of the angle of the bolts, but definitely not something that I wouldn't do because of that. You just have to be very patient and take your time. And uh, she did tell me that the revision that's coming out does give a bigger hole in the handle itself so that you can actually see the, uh, the bolt holes that you're trying to thread into. You just have to use a deep well socket uh, instead of just a shallow uh, because it's gonna stick down in the hole. So definitely an improvement there. Anyway, that's not really the topic of the video. There is one other thing I wanna mention. You know, I am back from Ohio. Fortunately, I'm so glad to be back. Uh, and I thought I'd show you guys real quick here what it is that I was traveling in, in going back and forth from Ohio, the uh, behemoth that, uh, that I actually did drive. So here's a couple pictures of the motorhome uh, that we made the trip in. You can see that thing is a beast. I think it's 40 or 41 feet long. It's basically like driving a semi. Uh, plenty of power, not difficult to drive, but just big. That's really the only issue. So let's get to the video at hand. I'm gonna turn you around, let you see what it looks like while I'm driving down the road at eye level uh, with the driver's side grab handle. So let's take a look. You can see I'm holding this right above my eyes. I do still need to be able to see the road. Uh, but you guys can see what I'm seeing. Over here on the left, it does stick out just a hair beyond the A-pillar, you can see there. But definitely not enough that it's, you know, really overly obstructing the view. I mean, I've got other things in my truck, like the door handles there and things. They probably obstruct the view, or not the door handles, but the phone holders. They probably obstruct the view more than this grab handle does for sure. Now, here's a good test. We're going around a curve. You can see a, a truck coming, and there you go. I had no problem seeing uh, around the grab handle to see that truck. Again, it just barely, barely from my seating position sticks out a little bit. Uh, nothing that, uh, again, is a problem for me. Now, I've had it in here for a little while. Honestly, it's only been about a day or so, so it's not like uh, I've had it in the truck for weeks. But so far, no issues with it. I had mentioned in the install video something about the covers. I did speak to uh, KTJO about that. It seems to me that the little prongs that kind of snap in there are a little bit weak. They could be a little bit stronger, and that might be why there's issue with some people of those covers falling out and I'm talking about these covers here one up above and one down below um, she had mentioned to me that she installed it on her truck hasn't had any issues you want to listen for the snap I guess when you put it in and I understand what she's saying she said that some people will actually push it in on top of the little arms that snap as opposed to them being in the holes I can see how that would happen as well it happened to me when I installed the first one. Not enough that I permanently damaged it. I noticed it, so I kind of bent it back. They're very flexible. And then inserted it right into the hole it's supposed to go to in the handle itself. So if you're doing this mod, just make sure that you're aware of that. You can actually see where those little arms are going in. Make sure you don't go ahead and try to push it on there uh, and bend those little arms. It won't fit anyway. It'll just fall out if you do that. Uh, we shall see. So far, as I mentioned, it's been good for me, but it's only been about a day anyway, so not a fair test yet. I'm hoping that they'll stay in there. No issues, no problem. Now, the benefit from this, I didn't really cover that in the last video because it was really more focused on actually installing the handle here itself. 
But the benefit of it, of course, is getting in and out of the truck. You know, part of the reason I decided to go ahead and, uh, and do this install again was I didn't like grabbing the door, the seat, or the steering wheel getting in and out of the truck. My truck is high enough for me at five foot nine and a half. Uh, that I still have to grab something to get in. I can't just launch myself into the truck. You know, if I was about six foot two, six foot three, maybe I could just step in and it wouldn't really be an issue. But I'd say at that height, you're really starting to get to the limit of being comfortable in the Tacoma anyway. I think anything above six two, six three is probably full size truck territory. Some people will argue with me about that, but man, I'm uh, like I said, five foot nine and a half. And uh, it seems to be just right for me. So, I like having it on there for that reason, just so I don't have to put a bunch of wear and tear on the steering wheel or push down on the door or anything like that. Wanted to get on, update you guys. That's my update. Uh, no issues seeing out of the truck with it. I think that's a, a pretty petty complaint if, uh, if you ever hear that. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Do you have the grab handle? How was your install and what do you think of it? And how is it holding up now? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. And Rob Motive Rides, all about currently my brand new, to me, Mercedes-Benz. going to be a lot of mods and things on that. It's new for me, so it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.